there are core Canadian values that we all share, human rights and, and multiculturalism. And yet the surveys also tell us that racism is a reality. The encouraging part of a day like today tells us that we have people in the community that can lead that dialogue to make Canada the great place that it needs to be. Red Deer is not perfect. And I don't want to blanch it away saying what a wonderful place we have. Because if we did, we wouldn't be here. The first time I remember being called a dirty little Indian was in elementary school. The reason was something very evil, nail polish. Every one of you that's gathered here today demonstrates to me that unity is in the process of starting. I lived in Zambia and now I'm here. And why am I here? Because this is the first place after I left Africa that I felt at home. That when I looked at the people, I didn't know them, but I felt a oneness. And this is why I'm in White Horse. I'd hear comments like, oh yeah, you're not really native. I'd feel like, well, I am though. You don't have to look like something to be what you are. Sometimes it sucks for me to be like, you know, we gotta consciously think about including, you know, non-white people or diverse people into boards. And it sucks because it kind of feels like tokenization. But then when it doesn't happen, for someone like me, I see it, I, I see it um, almost right away. I think the, the line should be, we need this person because of their unique and diverse opinion and outlook in order to create policy that reflects our society and workplace. We need to, we need to work at it. And diversity's great strength can only be tapped if we foster opportunities to engage it proactively, strategically, effectively. And to come up with some concrete and practical solutions that we can all embrace, that we can all work for. The key of uh, us building this country and building the community is all related to dialogue. Without dialogue, there's no single solution for uh, any problem we face. Being able to have a conversation about race and racism is very important because so often we are afraid to have those conversations, we're polite about those conversations. We don't want to have those conversations because we just might upset things. And we still have an Indian Act. It's called Indian Act and we're not Indians. So where's the acceptance, inclusiveness, and unity in that? I, I get the impression that I don't belong here. The impression you get the, from the faces of people when you tell them your name, or what it is, the accent, that my strong accent that I use, that always make me look like I don't belong here. I am not part of this community. And it has been 23 years I live here. My children go to school here. I sometimes wonder where talk moves to some sustainable action and how do we make that happen? How do we stop having people who come to our province feel like newcomers after 20 some odd years? Although I have very different experiences perhaps individually, collectively the oppressions and the systems of oppression and racism act in the same way to keep us out when we ask uh, boards, why don't you uh, represent the population they serve, they are saying, oh, we don't know how to recruit from this, this group. Why we don't take each other, see each other uh, with no color, with no background, with no accent. If you're gonna break a chain of racism and you're going to promote cultural and racial awareness, you start with those kids, because those kids don't see color and they don't see race and they don't see culture they see friends, they see something interesting. You put them together without the influence of adults and they're going to be kids. The older I get, the more I realize it's that next generation we gotta keep fighting for. My job is to get back into our communities and give our people the respect that they need. Healthy sexuality, healthy relationships, harm reduction. 
we are going to create a coalition of citizens and hopefully create a model in Richmond that is designed by citizens who are the ultimate stakeholders and who the system should be accountable to. You don't have to wait a single day to make this world a better place. Go talk. I'm committing to sharing positive aspects of the communities that I work with. We will be moving beyond tokenism. But working together is, is what the bottom line is. Are we as a people, as a community, on the shoulders of our elders who have gone before us, are we committed to making a change? The answer is yes, we are. Thank you.